to anyone who's been paying attention to all of the promotions surrounding the She-Hulk Attorney at Law series on Disney+, Plus, it's not really a surprise that it's turned out to be cringe, unfunny garbage. That's pretty much how it looked this entire time. But one thing that is shocking to me is just how hypocritical all of the people involved with She-Hulk have become. With all of the stuff they were saying before this series came out, with all the virtue signal, with all the pandering, with all of these things, specifically regarding the treatment and sexualization of women, the obsession with female bodies, especially females in the MCU, you'd think that it was going to be a little bit different than what they've actually shown on screen. Because when the star, Tatiana Maslany, came out and said She-Hulk star, there's a weird obsession with female Marvel heroes' bodies and did this grand virtue signal about how women are treated and sexualized so much more than the men are in the MCU. They're so obsessed with our bodies. Then to go on and make jokes about Captain America's, you know, virginity, right, about his sex life, and then to have her have a lock screen where she has Captain America's ass on it. We all thought that was weird. A little bit like you're obsessing about a body of a male superhero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But all that leads up to what we saw in episode three, what everybody's been talking about, the twerking scene with She-Hulk and Megan the Stallion. She-Hulk cast and crew is static over twerking cameo from Megan the Stallion. She really fit into the whole ethos of what we're doing with this show. Just as a reminder, if you didn't know what I was talking about, you, you know, here is here is the entire clip of the end credit scene. And I might mute it in some places so we don't get hit with, uh, you know, with any kind of audio, copyright, anything like that. But watch this. <laughs> there you go. And, and we have this shot of She-Hulk CGI ass. Look at this. So we, we went from, why do you obsess about female superheroes' bodies, to let's do close-ups on the ass of our female superhero in this series, all while Megan Thee Stallion is there, who is literally, that's all she's known for. That's all this person is known for, is for sexualizing themselves. It's such a weird dichotomy, isn't it, between what the She-Hulk people say and what they put on paper. And they have no idea, like, how insane that makes them look. But this is what they said about this, uh, about this cameo appearance by Megan Thee Stallion. The cast and crew of Marvel She-Hulk Attorney at Law, the cameo from rap artist Megan Thee Stallion on the Disney Plus series' latest episodes may be one of the biggest highlights of the entire series, if not their entire lives. And this is a little overview of what we got in the series. The writing is terrible, specifically in the courtroom. They weren't lying when the writers admitted they have no idea how to write law scenes, like how to write lawyer scenes, how to write in-court scenes. They're clueless, uh, in addition to how cringe and unfunny the rest of the show is. Though she's absent from the rest of the episode proper, Megan returns in the episode's post credit scene, where after signing on as Jen's client, she and the Jade Giantess commemorate the partnership by twerking to the track body from her album, Good News. Following the episode's premiere, series head writer Jessica Gao, director Kate Koro, and star Tatia Maslany spoke with Variety about how Megan's guest appearance came about, as well as how her personality was a perfect fit for the series. What personality? She twerks. That's her personality. I made a joke when we heard about this cameo appearance. I just played two videos of her twerking as a joke thinking that that's not what they were actually going to have her do. That's not all, like, that can't be all she's there for. You're not just going to make this girl twerk, but that's what she did. Because this is Marvel, and this is the MCU. I love this tweet from Steph. She says, this is Marvel now. Like, this is Marvel now. Look at this. This is it. Now, of course, some people are saying, oh, you, are you that offended by a woman twerking? No, I, I, I don't care. Women twerk all the time. We see that stuff all the time. The thing is, this is how you're choosing to present your hero when you've just made a whole thing about not being sexualized, about how you don't like being sexualized. You don't like the obsession with women's bodies. You want to do something different. Then you're doing this. Uh, look at this. I hate being catcalled. Now watch me shake this ass. That's She-Hulk. It's got 300,000 views on Steph's Twitter. Go follow my nerdy home. But anyway, I want to see what they're saying. There was a big varied list of people that constantly changed in terms of the revolving door of cameos. The type of celebrity really ebbed and flowed depending on what kind of jokes we wanted to make. Ultimately, thanks to a suggestion from Jamila Jamil right here who bragged about it, you're all welcome. I asked her to be in the show and she said yes. And she all twerking with the stallion. History was made and it was glorious. I'm sure we'll see more of Jamila Jamil a little bit later on in this series. I'm sure that'll be great. 
Megan really fit the whole ethos of what we're doing with the show. She's powerful, larger than life person, and we love the idea of She-Hulk looking up to her. And then Tatiana Maslany said, I was probably close to tears. I was such a big fan of hers. It wasn't just she was a fan because she was about to meet Megan. She was a fan fan, says uh, Jessica Gao. And then the director says, we all discovered not only is Tatiana a huge Megan fan, but she's an amazing twerker and dancer. It might be CGI, but it's all Tatiana in that moment. We just played the song and put a few cameras on them, specifically directing the cameraman. No, you got to get up in that ass. You got to get down there. We want this shot. Maybe the cameramen were confused because after complaining about obsession with female bodies and the male gaze and sexualization, maybe, maybe it's funny that that's the shots you want, but this is this series. It is so hypocritical. To say this before it premieres and then to do all the things they've done since then adds up with everything that Marvel represents right now. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.